One of the most requested tutorials or guides on OBS Studio is always green screen. Now, green screen is the process of removing green or blue color from a video, live video or, or uh, filed video uh, file and, and, and making it transparent, giving it a transparent background. Currently what I'm doing as I record this tutorial, you'll see that behind me, you can see OBS Studio. That's because I've green screened out my background so that you can't see this huge green screen behind me. Uh, and the process of doing this is called chroma key. Chroma keying is the technical title for removing a certain color from a file. And we're gonna show you right here, right now, how to use chroma key as a filter to remove green background. So I've already prepared myself a few small tools to help me with this task. First of all, I need a background for whatever image I'm gonna chroma key, and that's gonna be the beach. Second of all, I need a, a video of something or a lifetime video of something with a green background that I want to make transparent. Cue the dog. And we're gonna be using this dog and hopefully getting rid of that entire green background to make it look like the dog is on the beach. Question is, how do we do it? Easy, right click on media source. So for the dog here, uh, the source is called media source. I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna click filters. I'm gonna go to plus and then I'm going to go to chroma key. You can also use color key, we'll talk about a little bit later on, but the most effective way of doing this is through chroma key. I'm gonna click chroma key, I'm gonna click okay, and now it has already done a pretty good job at removing all of that green. Look at that, with just the default settings, it has removed all of that bright green from our video and the dogs on the beach, everyone. Hallelujah, it's uh, happy days. Uh, now, if the default settings weren't enough, let's say it looked a little bit like this. You've added the chroma key, you can still see a load of green, it's not quite transparent. What we wanna do is we actually want to play around with the similarity settings a little bit. So let me talk you through each one of these and as we go, I'll let you know what they do for your chroma key. So similarity, this is your threshold. This is you telling the software how much green to remove from the image. If I put this down, it's looking for a very specific shade of green. But if I increase this, it's increasing the amount of green that it's looking for in the image. Okay, so if, if in theory, if I put this all the way up to the top here to like 450, it's going to start looking for all of the green in the color spectrum and it's going to remove the doggo. See if I put this up here, let's wait for the doggo to reappear. He's almost like a ghost if I put it too high. So I want to find that little sweet spot in the middle where there's no green behind him and no green around him. I think it's kind of there. Now, if you had an image with a lot of hair, like a lot of sticky out hair or fur, this fur is pretty matted. It's, it's uh, I mean, it's pretty flat. It's pretty cool. Um, but if we did have a dog with a lot of standout fur or a human being with a, a lot of hair on his head, we could use the smoothness tool to smoothen out the edges of our image. As it goes on this particular one, we don't need to. But you could smooth out the image by using the smoothness tool. Now, if I put the similarity down, you see there's a little bit of green around the outside of our doggo, if I pause it. See this little line of green on the outside of the doggo? Now this can happen on humans as well in a, you know, a video capture device like a webcam. If we increase the key color spill reduction, it actually reduces the saturation of the image that is still unkeyed. So you see the green outline goes away around the outside, but so does the color from our original image. So in theory, we really wanna keep this as low as possible. We wanna keep the similarity as high as possible to get rid of all that green. You see, as I slide it up, the green outline on the pupper starts to disappear. And then we have a beautiful image. Now we can also change the opacity of the entire video from inside this menu. We can change the contrast of the doggo from inside this menu, uh, the brightness and the gamma. So there are a few just standard color correction tools in here as well. Let me show you how we do that one more time. So I'm gonna remove the chroma key. We've got a video here with a green background. We want to remove the background. Right click on media source, go to filters, go to chroma key, 
and it will already add a default key to your image. Use similarity to choose how much green to add or take away and color, key, uh, color spill reduction to make sure there's no green uh, staying on the edge of our doggos. Smoothness to smoothen out any individual hairs or fur around our image. And that is about it. Sometimes people will use a blue screen instead of a green screen. That's absolutely fine too. We would change the key color type to blue, but obviously it's not going to work here because our background is green. So I need to put that back to green and we are good to go. If you do have a different colored background, uh, let's say, I mean, most people only use green and blue screens, but let's say you had a pink green screen for, for some reason, you could go to custom and select your color. You could select the color of your screen. So I go into here, I go pink, I go okay, and now it's gonna remove all the pink from the image. Our moving image right here doesn't have any pink in it, so it's not gonna remove anything. So let's put it back to green, and we are good to go on the chroma key. I'm gonna show you how this works very quickly on a, uh, let's do it on a webcam. So we're gonna get rid of the doggo, bye doggo. Let's get rid of the beach. Uh, actually, I'm gonna leave the beach there and I'm gonna bring up my second webcam. Now the second webcam on my PC is not very good. You can see up there, the quality is pretty poor. It's not as good as my main webcam, but it's gonna do the job. I don't know which webcam to look at, which one. <laughs> it's gonna do the job in terms of showing you how the chroma key works. So I've got a green background behind me. Because the camera is much poorer than the one I'm using for OBS Studio, um, uh, for sorry, for recording, the green in the background does not look as stable. It looks like you, you're seeing two different shades of green. So the better the camera you have, the easier your chroma key is going to be. But let's do this anyway. Let's see what happens. We're going to right click on my webcam. We're going to click filters. We're going to get rid of the chroma key we just added because... That's not what we're doing right now. We're going to add a new chroma key. And hey-ho, it has actually done a pretty good job of removing the green screen. You can see there, you can see the beach behind me. It, actually, I'm amazed at the, the job it's done on the C270 there. So that's really good. Let's see if we can just make it a little bit better. You see up here, we've got a little bit of fuzziness going on. Let's see if we can get rid of that fuzziness. I'm going to increase the similarity. There's nothing to smooth around the outside here. It's all pretty straight edges. So I'm going to reduce the smoothness and increase the similarity. I'm going to reduce the key color skill spill reduction. The color uh, template, well, the LUT on the CU270 is awful. So I look like I'm sick right now. <laughs> Let's uh, maybe increase the contrast a little bit. No, we need to add a color key to that or a color correction to that to make it look any good. But the chroma key itself looks fantastic. If I close this now, you can see the beach behind me. It's completely transparent. And that is how you add a chroma key filter to your webcam or moving image.